Hi folks, it's Steve here from Analytics in Action and today I want to give you a bit of an overview of managing Type 1 slowly changing dimensions using T-SQL. So today I'll talk about Type 1 slowly changing dimensions and in reality it's best explained with a practical demo and I'll jump into that uh, in the next minute or so. But in terms of what the key actions are that take place with, uh, within, with a Type 1 slowly changing dimension, new records are inserted from a source uh, system into a target. So in that situation there is no record of say that customer in the dimension table which is the target. Um, in that case a new record is introduced into the dimension table. If there is a record in both the source table and the target table for say a particular customer and some descriptor has changed in that source table for example a plan or a date of birth or a uh, name change for that customer, such as when uh, if they've been just got married. Records in the source table are then updated in that target table, so in the dimension table. And no history of changes are recorded um, with type one slowly changing dimensions. So this makes it fundamentally different from type two slowly changing dimensions. As I've alluded to, type one slowly changing dimensions are often used to correct errors such as incorrect addresses or date of births. One thing to consider, if you're carrying out type 1 slowly changing dimension changes, you need to consider the implications on reporting because essentially what you're doing is you're overwriting a descriptor. Okay, let's just jump straight into the practical demo and the code for this exercise can be uh, picked up off my website and that's analyticsinaction.com forward slash SCD type 1 forward slash. Okay, so just open up um, SQL Server Management Studio, paste in the code, and one thing to note, um, the key T-SQL statement used in managing slowly changing dimensions is the merge statement, and that uh, was introduced into SQL Server 2008 um, from memory, so you need to have uh, SQL 2008 or later. Um, I'm using 2014 uh, in, for this demo. So first up we'll create a database with two tables in it. The first table will be the source table, we'll just call that operational source, and then the second table is the target table which we'll call customer dim. So first of all let's just create the database, so we're going to call this database SCD, execute that. Now we're going to create a the first table and load it full of data. Once we've created these we'll talk about the actual structure of these. And then the second table is customer dim. Okay, and then to look at the data let's select the next little piece of code. And this will return values for both tables. Okay, so this first table is the source table. This uh, second table is the target or dimensions table. So what we're going to do is, um, as alluded to on the first slide, if a record is new in the operational system, and it, in the operational table, and it doesn't exist in the target table, it'll get added through. So in this case, Shane Kennedy with customer key 4 doesn't exist in the dimensions table, so that will get added through um, with this uh, type 2 slowly changing dimension methodology. So if there's a change in the underlying source table, such as uh, for customer key 1, Miss, uh, Mrs. Jane Barker, so we've got her here, we'll see that for that same customer key we've got Miss Jane Smith. So in this scenario she could have just got married. So what will happen in this case, this record from the source system will essentially overwrite the, uh, the record in the uh, target or dimension table. Also if there are changes such as um, a date of birth change, so Bob Jones here 1973, the 8th of the 8th, here we've got the date of birth has been corrected to the 1st of the 1st. In that case, 
this um, record will be the record from the source system will also be used to overwrite the dimension table. So essentially type 1 slowly changing dimensions put the most recent results into the dimension table. Okay so let's just move these values down and what we'll do is we'll just walk through what the um, merge statement which we use for type 1 slowly changing dimensions looks like. Okay so if you haven't uh, come across a merge statement before it might be worth you just jumping across to my website analyticsinaction.com uh, and having a look at my previous tutorial on merge statements. Okay so what we'll do here is we'll just walk through this, um, this merge statement and explain what it's doing. So what we're going to do is first of all we're going to add a table alias to the customer dimension table. So that table alias is T. And we'll also do the same thing for the operational source and table alias that S. So what we're going to do is join those two tables on the customer key. And essentially that's how we're going to compare. So what we'll do is we're going to join them up and when the customer key does not match and then what we're going to do is insert the values from the source table into the destination table. So essentially these are new records that we want to add to the dimension table. And when we add those we're going to add the customer key, the customer name, the date of birth and essentially add in a date stamp. Then in this final part of the, uh, the merge statement what we do is when the customer key matches and the date of birth doesn't match or the customer name doesn't match so this is either a date of birth correction scenario or as I mentioned before a situation where perhaps someone's name needs updating say they've been married in this situation we're going to update the destination table using this then update set so the date of birth in the source table will be taken from the target table as will the customer name and for the date last updated column we'll put in the current date so that's essentially saying when that record was last updated okay so let's just run that and see what happens okay so four val uh, four rows were affected let's now just go back up look at the two tables again so what we can see is Mrs Jane Parker has now been added from the uh, source table to this target dimension table so that's been updated she used to be Miss Jane Smith Bob Jones with his updated date of birth has also been updated in the destination table. Shane Kennedy, who is a new record, has also been added to the um, dimension table as well. And what we can see is wherever there was a update, we've got the most recent uh, date stamps. So the only one that didn't change was Mr. Mike Willis. And we can see that that still has the old date stamp on it. Okay, so that's slowly changing dimensions. The um, best way to really get your head around it is to take a look at the code, make a few changes um, to it, and really just run it a few times and get your head around exactly what each little piece of code um, does. So I hope you found this useful. Um, if, you, uh, if you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way every time I produce another uh, video, you'll get an update. Um, it's also worth going across to my website, lots and lots of information there on uh, business intelligence, analytics and uh, business insight in general. Um, so information ranging from you know, predictive modeling, T-SQL, a little bit of stuff on integration services, um, data integration and also visual analytics, so using tools like um, Tipco Spotfire. So I hope you found this session useful.